to our sports show, She and He Talk Sports. I'm your host, Alika Brown. And I'm your host, Eddie Johnson. Let's get right into it. First topic we have today is Stephen Curry and Samaj Christian got into a scuffle Monday night when Golden State Warriors went against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's take a look and see what happened with that. Seeing guys at that size that can have that kind oh, of Oh, it's getting physical. Oh. It's getting physical. My goodness. All right, so you tell me, what did you think about that? Well, I see that Russell came in and, you know, helped out with his teammate and everything, but it didn't even show the teammate scuffle between Steph right, and him. Right. It was more of a Russell Westbrook and Steph thing. And um, to be honest, I mean, Steph looked at it like, you know, I'm tired of people messing with me, nudging me and stuff and everything. So I guess, you know, frustration. And Russell, I think, you know, everybody's going to run that back to him and KD. KD right. Lee. I honestly feel like once KD left and decided that he was going to go to Golden State, I feel like anybody that KD would have went to, it would have been, you know, tension. they would have, yeah. It would have yeah. been tension. Because Simply because of just, you know, he was somebody else. Now, it has always been KD and Russell. But, I mean, for everybody that think about it, they always was downplaying him and Russell's, you know, compatib compatibility. True. So That's they true. were saying if Russell was too selfish or, or if he was, you know, all that KD couldn't be the real Batman to them. So I don't know, man. I think. That's just an issue. Russell Russell handles those situations like typical Russell. Russell act like he don't care about it, but deep down you can tell he just cares that he, he hated that KD he had to leave and went to the Warriors out of all the teams. Out of all teams. Man, honestly, I feel like right now, you know, Steph, Steph done kind of man up and kind of bodied up a little I bit. I mean, that's what happens when you see him getting, you know, last year in the finals he was getting, you know, beat up bad. I mean, when it was running off screens, it wasn't like how it was during the season when he was just running off the screen, catch, you know, LeBron, them, and the rest of the Cavs. They was pretty much running him out of bounds, knocking him over and everything. So I see him, man. I give him credit for, like, bu like building his body I, but up. Honestly, I feel like he's just doing that with the Thunder. I mean, you don't you don't see him act like that with any other team. But, you know, the Thunder, he's just like, I'm I not going. I think it's just because. You know, he know he got KD right here. It's yeah. like he kind of cocky see, with that. Yeah, game. I see that part, yeah. but at the same time, I think I think it's gonna come out more in the playoffs with Steph. Like the closer they, the deeper they run, the more people gonna want to get at him because they kind of want to use him as the weak link, even though he is pretty much like the engine of the team. Yeah, to true. To speak, so they'll try to get at him because he's the smallest. Everybody know Clay Thompson, you know, six seven, good defender and all that stuff. They're gonna get at Steph. They know KD can do whatever he need to do. So they're going to go at Steph, and they know how Draymond is. You can't shut him up. So That's true. they're going to go at Steph. It's going to be interesting once they get into the playoffs. But, I mean, he, he's just not the main the main focus right now. But did you see, like, Draymond kind of went through the crowd like, I'm not going either. Like, he, yeah, like Draymond he went through took in, too. He went, he went in there throwing, I ain't going to say throwing elbows, but he was in there trying to bust his way through, I, helping I don't his know teammates who was whatever. moving the crowd more. I don't know if it was him or, Russell. you know, Russell, but... but we're going to slide on to so our next, next topic. topic. Our next topic at hand is Dallas and Tony Romo. The, the My old. boy is leaving, guys. Now, the rumor added, the rumor is that he might go to my team, going to the Steelers. And if we do, that would be a nice, you know, he'll be playing backup. He'll be a backup quarterback. Because, you know, oh. Big Ben is still going to be there. Big yeah. Ben going to be running. So, I don't know. I think it'll be a great move because I'm not going to sit here and downplay Tony Romo like he isn't a great quarterback. It's just, you know, he's a good quarterback. I just think Dallas, in a sense, he outgrew Dallas, and Dallas kind of outgrew him. Yeah, my, my thing is Dallas is bringing in a, a bunch of new cats. Yeah. You know, and, and with this, it's like, okay, we've been having some of you guys on the team, but let's let's throw in some new people. And, and, and they younger, in a right. sense. Like, you so know, it's you like, got it's Dak, like, it's you like got a younger Ezekiel, team. Yeah. So, it's it's interesting and you know the way that their record was last season with you know Romo being gone. Yeah. It really took off and I mean, you know, you're a fan of them, so I mean y'all know y'all was hyped for We we were honestly I, I look at it like I thought that he was gonna go ahead and retire. Right. Simply because he had these back injuries almost right. every year or every other He's year. Injury prone. He's that's, in, the, yeah. that's the so um, just, that's the only I thing. Like I he really, just need to give it up. I I think what it is, you know, he say that he wanted to let 
that get the shine. And I believe it, but in another sense, I look at it like maybe they kind of bothered Romo. It did. You, it bothers any any starter to me, like a starter losing their job, and you know, I mean, they but losing it, it to just somebody that was like, it done, I think that's a rookie. It don't play. It don't play. Out with Romo though, like you, Romo is the the top leading, you know, player. That that's who getting all of the Cowboys' money. You can't have somebody around that's just gonna sit on the bench. Yes, I you, mean, you, Jerry, you got that's, to that's get rid of. Jerry yeah, thing, you know, you so, just got to get. You got I mean, to get rid of. Them. And him being a backup for for the Steelers, if he do go to the Steelers, I mean, like I said, that'd be a great ad. But just like you said earlier, man, injury prones, man, and Big Ben already suffers. In yeah, my opinion, you know, you don't injuries. want to. You like don't. every and the you. way he goes with his injuries, man, it seems like he goes down and it's like the team can't even focus. And right. It, and having Romo as a backup, maybe that can get everybody to shift right. I, but I don't, I don't if he get know. hurt, then next thing you know, who we have? Like I, I don't know because at the end of the day, you have to get used to. To Romo, it took a minute for some of the Cowboy players to get used to him in right. the game that he was playing. He just had those certain people that he connected with. Right. So with him going to a totally different team, even just say if it's a, if Big Ben get hurt, like it's gonna put like a strain. Okay, let's let's see what they can do. Let's see if they can work with yeah. with Romo. They they have went against Romo, but they've never they worked, worked with, with Romo. Right. So it, I mean, I just feel like Romo should just. Man, you're paid. With that being said, though, now that he's probably going to be out the picture, do you think the Cowboys are still going to be straight? Like, they're going to be I, I do. I do because now we have a chance to get more people in. You're not paying out so much money. Like, with paying out as much money as Romo getting paid, it was just like, look, we can't bring in them but two, two or three guys. Right. Maybe. And they can't get the money that they need to get because, right. you know, now they can up up deck pay. Ezekiel's Ezekiel, you know they still got Brian, so they had to get rid of somebody. Right. They can't hold all right. these big time players That's and, understandable. and stuff. All right, and then we get into our last topic of the evening. Lord, um, here's, here's the topic: Mayweather and McGregor. He going out, calling out his retirement to fight McGregor. Do you think that's gonna be? Do you think that's Mayweather like hyping that up for money purposes? Because that's that's just my opinion. I just Mayweather is cocky. I'm he not calling out everybody now, he can call. Now, out. just going on the record, I respect him as a boxer. He's one of the greatest boxers ever. But I'm not really a good fan of Mayweather's. All because of, like you said, the cockiness. He's, I mean, he's too cocky. To me, he runs cocky. boxing as a straight, legitimate business. He got yeah. the skill, and it's like he got yeah. the skills. And I'm not gonna knock nobody. I mean, you 49 and and O with your record. That's that's you can't debate that. But you run it like a straight business, and when I say straight business is, you fight people on your time. You right, fight people whether right. they in day prime and you not or whatever. You do it, and then you make sure you get a large percent of the revenue because your name is attached to it. So it's like you run it straight like a business, and it's like, yeah, be business minded, be business savvy, uh, be business savvy. But at the same time, you know, I don't know that McGregor thing though, being I an MMA fighter. I want to see, I want to see uh, Mayweather see when with him calling all these people out. I want to, I want him to call out somebody that he know is gonna really be a, a challenge, challenge. A challenge. I want him to call out some of these old boxers, you know. But he, he's but not know, gonna. They, he's not gonna do that. One gonna because it's not gonna bring the value he needs, and then two, those old boxers are old boxers, so they out they prime. But it's it's to me challenging an MMA fighter who. McGregor do, does know boxing. I mean, he's he's skilled in boxing, but he's not he's thing. not skilled as Mayweather. Like it's a difference when you skilled in boxing and you skilled in like martial right, arts. And right, stuff. right. Mayweather strictly no boxing. You know this, but you can't even put your your martial arts into that. Into that, right? And so vice versa, if they get into an octagon, where's the MMA fight? Mayweather would Mayweather lose. would lose. Yeah, that's what so, I'm saying. I, he. I feel like he's really picking on a guy. Like I know you're good, but yeah. let let me see if you can handle this going against me. And the thing me. about Mayweather is he is not gonna fight nobody unless it's in a boxing ring. So, so yeah, so he the he, advantage he, still goes towards him with that McGregor fight. And if I was McGregor, if I was gonna be up for that fight, a large percent of that whole revenue would have to come my way because I can't even put all my skills into action. I I have to play by his skills. I mean. 
you guys we have we have reached our limit with today's show again this is she and he talk sports with alika brown and eddie johnson stay tuned for our next show see you later guys you guys we're out